Hey y'all, Jayla Bazier here. Now, I have not made a video in a while, but if I was ever, 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 ever was to pick a day to make a video, today will be that day. Will be that day. Um, Because I've got some stuff to talk about. And first, let me say, um, to anybody that's on my page that is a customer, I appreciate you and the business that we have together. Um, but as far as my posts and as far as my videos, let me be the first to address, I am a black woman living in America today. So that being said, I promote my business on my personal page. I have a business page. It's Crims and Crumbles, Crim and Crumbles, somewhere on Facebook. You can find it and you can log on to that and that's straight business. That's nothing but desserts. And you will not see my face on there and you will not see any of these videos. Now, um, to get that out of the way, I have no, you know, hard feelings against I take that back. I do have very hard feelings. Um, but it's not against people who have done no wrong. So please take that into account as I make this video. And thank you for your business. Um, to everybody else, even if you're a customer and you appreciate this video, I appreciate you. And I hope that you get some understanding out of it. Um, there's a lot going on in this world today. Um, and not just today, it's been going on. None of this stuff is new. We've seen this time and time again, over and over again, from slavery till now. It has never stopped, it has never ceased. The only thing that's different is we all have cameras. And we all know to use those cameras because of the injustices that continue to flourish day after day, week after week. I just want to address the fact that I have two little boys. I also have my little girl, but I protect the crap out of her as well as my other children. But I have two little black boys that I'm raising. And as a mother, when I became a mother, the thing that I struggled with the most was how I'm going to teach my son how to be a man. His father and I are not together. And his father really wasn't in his life. And I had no clue. I still have no clue how to teach my son to be a man. I can only go by what I think is right, and that's what I do. Now, my struggle isn't how to raise a man. It's how to keep my black son alive so that he can become a man and change and make change. I am not fearful and growing up I had an issue with not having fear you know when situations arise or there's a fight or there's you know somebody pull out a gun I'm not the one that's gonna run and be fearful and and, and just go and you know oh my god a gun ah! no that's not me oh you oh you bad you know that's that's kind of my my machoism and um, I'm not going to lie. I have fear. My fear is I don't know how I'm going to respond if an issue like that arises. I don't know how I'm going to react. I don't know what I'm going to do. I know what I should do. But even when you do the right things, even when you talk calmly and not have that boisterous voice, even when you display the utmost courtesy and respect to these officers or to these people.
people because it's not just police officers. This isn't just black people against police officers. This is black people against people who continue to mistreat us, do vile acts, violence, and just disregard us for the humans that we are. It's against those people, politicians, lawyers, judges, clergymen, everybody, the man at Subway. It's a whole bunch of people. And their nationality isn't always white. It just happens to be in a lot of these videos. I don't know how to keep my sons alive. I don't know how to keep myself alive because they aren't just brutalizing and victimizing black men. They are also coming for us women, us little girls. I will do whatever is in my power to protect my sons, to protect my daughter, to protect my family, to protect my loved ones. I will go above and beyond. Before that, I'm going to be respectful and I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt to treat me as a human being with respect and for you to follow the law. But when I see that that's not happening, I'm not going to continue to be respectful. I'm not going to continue to think that I'm going to be okay. Because at that point, my life and the life of my loved ones is in danger. I am not your victim. I will not be your victim. Neither will my children or my family. This has got to stop. This has got to be corrected. And it's not going to take for people to go to therapy and it's not going to take for people to go back into their closets and hide who they really are. Because the main reason that we're seeing a lot of this is because we have a president in office who promotes racism, racist beliefs, who creates laws that are against the principles that this country was built on to protect immigrants. And people bash Trump supporters and people bash white people and people bash Trump. What needs to be bashed is the ideology and the beliefs that you can treat people any kind of way. Black people or anybody else. No one deserves to be mistreated and disregarded for their own life. Educate yourselves. Educate yourselves on the laws. Educate yourself on... on protecting yourself and your family. Educate yourself on what you need to do and be prepared if the situation arrives. Whether you got to go live on your Facebook or on YouTube or whatever, you know, whatever you have to do to try and protect your family, do it. Know the laws. Don't sit here and keep liking posts. Don't sit here and be on Facebook for three and four and five and six hours a day, but you don't know the gun laws in your state. Or you don't even know who the politicians are in your state. You don't even know who the governor is or the mayor of your city or your councilman. You don't even know what's going on down the street where black boys and black girls are being abused and victimized and violently disregarded. Because you want to laugh and joke all day and act like that is not a problem. You shared one post. Thank you.
Thank you for sharing that post. Now take a stand behind your action of sharing that post. Take a stand as a human being, as a black person, as a white person who's offended by the actions of other people of your race, by any nationality, any race, take a stand on the regard for human life, regardless if it's black. This is happening because certain people are allowing it to happen. And because there's no repercussions for the actions that are happening against these black people, it, system, it systemically and unconsciously goes into the brain of other people who are easily led by these wrongdoings and subconsciously in their mind, they're doing the same thing. That's the first type of people. And then there's another type of people who just blatantly believe that this is right. We have to demand better for everybody. I wouldn't want to see this happen to anybody else. This is a long video. I did not mean for this video to be so long. But I have black boys. And every day I pray for them. I pray for a lot of people. Something has got to change. Something has got to change. People have to change. It's ridiculous. It is ridiculous. I can't even be on social media right now. If, if coronavirus wasn't going on, I feel like I would be in Minnesota right now. Not riding. Now, I'm not agreeing with that. But there has to be a stand. There has to be a stand. I'm standing for my boys. Standing for my family. I'm standing for my life. Peace.